Good. So, uh, <laughs> step one, loosen the nut. So you can use a crescent or we can get you a socket, but uh, crescent will work right now. So loosen off the nut. Righty, righty, tidy, lefty, loosey. <laughs> I say righty, you say tidy. This is like right that on the bowl. traumatic first <laughs> revolting experience I had. Man, that ball's really unsafe on like this. It's a little close to the edge for my sick route. <laughs> All right. Okay. If you so, uh, next step wrong. used to be hitting it with a hammer to, to disengage the collar. We don't do that anymore. Take the. Um, Take this and screw it onto, sorry, screw it onto the bolt. That's our spinner tool. It has a set screw in it so that it only goes like five threads and then bottoms out. You take it off the drill, hang it around? Uh, well, yeah, you, have it's not smart to just use the drill trigger yeah. to, to screw it on. You <laughs> cross thread it and strip it. So, so I usually take it off. So, so now put it on the drill. We're in forward mode, in hammer mode. You can like hit the trigger a little bit and it'll help you click in place. There you go. So in hammer mode, forward, a couple of short bursts until the thing spins. So, so now once it starts turning, switch to uh, rotary mode and then we're going to add some water. So open the lid on that. This is abrasive water. I went to a jewelry store and got some 600 grit uh, dust, mixed it with water and we're going to squirt just a few cc's. Just just a little bit of, of that. That's kind of what you were doing last time. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, weren't you guys doing shots of that so, last time? <laughs> like that. Yeah, I got some in. Just a little bit. And, and you can pull out just a little bit on the drill and full speed. Push in just a little bit. I wouldn't push in hard because it can like fall in. Now stop and we're going to add a little more water. And often it'll be um, sizzling at this point. I don't know if you've spun it quite enough for that. Okay. Pull out a little harder. All right, stop. The point That's, of this part is what? I'm, we're damaging the, the pyramid shape of the wedge. If the wedge is no longer a smooth pyramid, it can't function as a wedge because the collar just stops against the part we've damaged. Okay, that's probably enough. Put the drill in reverse, pull out hard, and pull the trigger. Okay, so that takes it off. Actually, sorry, I, 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 um, I screwed up. Um, put it back on because <laughs> we're going to use the, the, the spinner tool to do the, uh, the pulling as well. So. Use two crescent wrenches to take the SDS portion off of the, the uh, coupler. So unscrew this from this. How hard are you pulling out of that when you're spinning? Um, if it's a really rusty bolt, I don't pull out that hard because you'll break it. Because it grinds down the, 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 the narrow portion really quickly. If it's a brand new bolt, you can pull out as hard as you want. Um, and it'll, it'll do a lot of damage to the bolt because it, it needs to be damaged. Well Ray, don't, don't you take an old 3 8 inch drill bit to make the end of that thing? To make the end of? The, the spinner bit that he's taking off right now? No, um, the, the newer spinner tools are, are all uh, just uh, assembled. There's no, there's no machining required. That's an SDS chuck that fits? Uh, yeah, that's an SDS drill chuck adapter. OK. Yeah. Yeah, we found a way of, of making that without having to do that. So, now, um, screw that on that. It's all so intuitive. Yeah. <laughs> Simple process. Oh, man, I remember you doing this. Hanging on to Mars, where if yeah. you drop you anything, it's half a day to go for you. If I do it, you're under the roof. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 This is a little awkward. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I, I'm, I'm skipping steps left and right. I, I do commit to put that on. What? Plus, so it's good. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm just that, I got this. I got this. So now screw it up. These are the issues. So, you know, this is there's, there's ergonomic issues. Still, is that all the way in? You also notice, like, so mine. We may have room for one of these spaces. Like this. Yeah. Uh, so, like that. Um, so, um, so, 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 is that the uh, is that the hundred forty nine dollar aluminum yes. one? Yes, this is the aluminum one. And you had to make a metric to English converter for that. Yeah, I had a guy make one for me, um, uh, machinist. So um, getting close to the end of the throw, we're going to move just a little bit so that we can add the first spacer and uh, keep going, and it'll get a little more difficult. If it stops hard, then it will stop. And you said that you had to rebuild seals at one point? Um, I have with this one. Matt Reeser has gone through, he's bought like four or five used Greenleys and rebuilt them. Oh, okay. Some of them come uh, really used and they leak already, and you have to buy some new seals and add to it. Um, Right, so does this come? Yeah. yeah, that's the end. Okay, we do have room for a spacer then. Well, what um, you just did? What you just did? I just turned that the on off switch. <laughs> <laughs> so intuitive. You didn't notice that one? Yeah. So intuitive. Yeah. Um, it's so logical to turn the yeah knob C. <laughs> Zach, Zach, it's ten. Show me it Yeah. All right, I'll do that again. <laughs> and we can see the bolt through that little window, and you'll see it moving or not. So, it's moving. It's moving. What well, it wasn't put in there? Yeah, exactly. Well. You're strong. Yeah, What's that thing about the guy? Come on, man. Put his bomb in the bolt. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he was one of these. Was he an engineer? <laughs> King Olafur. I have a better solution. <laughs> Okay, you have to get in. Go with your hand, so, there, Zach. What's now put the two-inch one in. So the next, the next size up. Yeah. So pull that out. He's <laughs> like cut. You may have to back up one turn. Well, yeah. Yeah. So did these come with the spacers, or you I made those from black pipes. Let's do a little more. Sometimes they don't. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you got enough threads. To, uh, the spacers are a little bit of a pain, and this uh, this process is a little simpler with the non the non hydraulic one because you just turn the crank and pull the bolts all the way out. Yeah. Oh, you unscrewed too far. Because you're never going to drop it off the list.
We have other spacers. Um, stack two of these. You didn't tell me you had these. What is it? So turn it on. Clockwise. When I say lefty, you say? There we go. All right. Turn that bolt out. Just enough of an edge, you can feel that it didn't do a lot. It didn't take a lot of damage, but it won't slide as easily as it was when it was new. And so that's the damage you did by spinning it. Is there a way to keep those spacers from dropping when you? Uh, well, I mean, these sure these these are are tethered, and you can stack them. Um, trouble is, uh, they. I didn't make. I made these right before I, I left town, and I didn't make them big enough to go. The the, the cut won't go over my my uh, coupler nut, so I need to make this channel a little wider for these to, to work well with this. Um, that was my oversight. Please drill small hole through the plastic one, swage it. Yeah, plastic one. So <laughs> Greg, one of the one of the the, the kind of, when push when when we talk about this, some of the pushback sometimes is like, well. It seems like this this is all fine and good here, but it seems like it takes a long time. Like, it's fiddly. If, effectively, how long does it take to extract one of these on the root? Like when once you get kind of good at it, like how long? I mean, they they typically take an uh, average of about ten minutes. You know, sure you can you can you can just chop in thirty seconds and patch and and so it's going to take longer. Right. I mean that's that's the reality. It's work, but um, it. For stud bolts, it's rarely more than like 10, 15 minutes. They, they either, yeah, it really, I mean, sometimes even in softer you hit a rock, you can oftentimes just spin it. You can just grind yeah. it, and then and it comes right out when they first go. Mm -hmm. So like in the Red River Gorge, if you could maybe just spin them right out. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Granite, you typically have to use. Yeah. I think you can do this process by hand at Red Rock. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just like Not this. quite, but it's pretty close. Yeah. Let's see the five piece. Nice job. Yeah. Yeah.